Ashley Lissette has always enjoyed music and her father encouraged her to follow her dreams. Well, she never took that advice very seriously until after he was killed in action while serving in the U.S. Army deployed to Iraq. Six months later, music started bringing her world back together, a little at a time. And now this Texas native has released her first single, Kill the Headlights, from her forthcoming EP. We were able to visit with Ashley to learn more about her musical journey. I have a special guest. I'm here with Ashley Lissette. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fantastic. So exciting to get to talk to you. I've listened to the EP. It's amazing. This is your first retail EP out? Yes. It so is. How exciting is that? It's very exciting. It's been a crazy ride, but I'm definitely enjoying every moment of it. And it's just kind of surreal. You don't ever think that you're going to have your own EP out. It's crazy. And here you are. And you have a song, Kill the Headlights, that's doing amazing at the highway on Sirius XM. It's a highway find, actually. Yeah, it is a highway find, and I get really excited every time it's on the radio. I always tweet at them, and so now Stormy Warren's like, Ashley, we know you're listening. And so it cracks me up every single time. So it's been crazy. It's crazy to hear yourself on the radio, like coming through the speakers. Oh, it's so weird. I'm sure. Where were you the first time you heard it? I was actually at home. I had to download the app because I wasn't in the car. And so I was at home the first time I heard it, and I was doing some homework. been doing this and traveling back and forth because you're from Texas since what 15 yes since I was 15 and I'm 19 now so it's just a lot of traveling back and forth to record and to just kind of promote what I'm doing at that moment in time yeah and I read in your backstory that for a long time you didn't really want to be a singer that you just there's a personal reason and what was that yeah, uh, I never thought that I was going to be a singer. It wasn't until um, the age of 12 where I really turned to music after my father was killed in action. And it was just kind of a healing process for me. And I met with a vocal coach a few months after that, stayed with her for a few years. And when I turned 15, she was like, hey, I'm taking a few people to Nashville. You know, you want to go and record your own songs? And I was like, sure, why not? And once I got in the studio, I was like, yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life. go back to what you just mentioned so your dad was tragically killed in in the armed forces mm -hmm. and this was music is what helped you get through that oh absolutely it was to the point to where I was never leaving the house without my iPod like I constantly had my earbuds in my ear and I was singing all day every day I was coming in and out of the game room and singing as loud as I possibly could and my parents would have to turn up the TV all the way <laughs> to tune me out. But like I said, it definitely was a healing process and you know, it's been seven years now, so I'm doing a lot better. It's just, it gets better every single day. I'm not talking Cupid, zero. He's got smoke coming off the barrel. And I'm an easy mind, yeah, yeah. I got a target on my heart. Your early influence was Carrie Underwood. I read that. And what was it about her music that, and what I also found is not only was she one of your early influences, now you're actually recording a song that she wrote, the single that's on the highway, Carrie is a co-writer. Yeah, it was really exciting. I actually didn't know that Carrie was a co-writer on Kill the Headlights, but I, like I said, since she was on Idol, I loved her. My dad was a huge Carrie fan, and before he was deployed his last time, he came to visit in November of 06, and he said, I want you to record Don't Forget to Remember Me by Carrie Underwood. And of course, I was like, yeah, I'll do it. Never got around to it. Of course, 45 days later, killed in action. Oh. So it kind of was one of those things I was like, man, I should have done that. And a few months later, I actually went and recorded it and played it for him at his grave. So here I am at 19, and that happened when I was 12, and she's a co-writer on my new single. So it was really exciting. And I was just like, yeah, my dad definitely made that happen for me. You're such an inspiration. Your music's amazing. So good to see you today. Well, thank, thank you, you. For having me. Another show, but I want to make sure that you get a copy of that new live album, Boys Night Out, from the Oak Ridge Boys. We have a couple of copies to give away, so if you want to get signed up for this week's drawing, enter online at InsideMusicRoad.com.
For more IMR on demand, head on over to Zeus.com for more interviews and all your favorite music videos in any genre. Get the app to take the row on the go, too. We're going to leave you today with this week's Artist on the Rise. Here is the duo Haley and Michaels with their hit single, The Price I Pay. Until next time, I'm Jennifer Vickery for Inside Music Row, and I'll see you again real soon.